Minister, welcome to India. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm delighted to be here. You've been here before, in fact. I was ambassador here for two and a half years in the 80s. Now, you're coming at a time when the world is looking anxiously at what's going to happen in Egypt next. Uh, many people believe that uh, there was a revolution, but it's not clear what the next stages will be. In Egypt, sometimes you hear about the phrase uh, calling for a second revolution. Are you worried about uh, where the future of Egypt is today? To tell you the truth, I'm not. For a very simple reason, is that in 18 days, this popular revolution that took place in Egypt, which managed to change the structure of the uh, and the atmosphere and the thinking, uh, was peaceful. And it's normal when you have such a revolution with the magnitude of the effects, it takes time. One has to be patient. I mean, look at the French Revolution, which was bloody and continued for years, at least hours was 18 days, but it's, in 18 days you can think, you can change the thinking, but you cannot change uh, things on the ground. It takes time, uh, and uh, I believe the government is taking the correct steps and uh, following the right track at the beginning. No. Now, uh, th this was the overthrowing of a dictatorship, of the Mubarak dictatorship. But many people are wanting to know what the role of the military will be going ahead in Egypt, uh, because people are looking at Egypt and saying, right now, it's still the army that's calling the shots. No, I will not go, go as far as that. Uh, what happened, and I, I speak very frankly, uh, uh, that the President Mubarak did not follow the Constitution. The Constitution would have required him, when he steps down, to, uh, to ask the Speaker of the People's Assembly to be acting president. It happens when President uh, Mubarak, for uh, President uh, Sadat died, and before him when President Nasser died. Uh, but he decided, for reason of his own, which I cannot explain why, that the military should take over, not running the country, but supervising the running of the country. Mm. So we have a government which runs the gov uh, and governs the country, and certain matters where, where you need the signature of the head of state, we go to the military. But in the future, what will be the role of the military in Egypt? Go back to the barracks. That's what I expect. That's clear? It's clear to me. We'll see what will happen then. But no one expects, I mean, I, we, have, we are in the government, we are in daily contact with them. Uh, they really and sincerely and genuinely do not want to continue more than one year. The world is also raising questions about what the future and potential role of a group like the Muslim Brotherhood will be in the future of Egypt. They formed a party of their own. They're planning to contest elections. But questions are being raised over whether this will change the secular fabric of Egypt, what will happen to the rights of Christians, what will happen to the rights of women. Are you worried about that? No, I'll tell you why. First of all, are they a force on the ground or not? Yes, there are. But how big is their influence? It depends how many votes they can get in an, in an election. If I give an example, the only election we have had up to now is the student unions. In all universities, we have 14 universities. They never got more than 20, 22. They didn't get 50%, they didn't get 40%. Uh, maybe one, someone will say, well, students are educated and uh, they can decide for themselves so, uh, after thinking about the alternatives and the options before them and what will happen next and so on. And maybe the man in the street or the woman in the street might not be in the same level. But if, even if that is true, that means that will be 10% more. I, I don't think they can take any kind of majority. I would be worried because I'm for a secular state. I'm not for a religious state. So you don't believe the Muslim Brotherhood will define the future of your country? No, but they have to play a part because, this, you see, you have to reflect the realities. They will play a role. Definitely, they will have their views and they will be, maybe they can uh, form alliances with some other uh, parties that I, I cannot tell you from now. But I, I don't think that they will govern Egypt. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.